Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Sovereign Kennels. Um, today I wanted to talk about my grooming pump that I use for the Afghan hounds. Um, a friend of mine came up from the Nationals I was just at and I had showed her this system a few years ago and she really liked it and asked um, if I could share it with more people. Other people have asked me how I make this, so I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, so in front of me, I have all the different components you're going to need to buy to make this system. If you want an already made system, they do have what's called a Hydro Surge, which is this whole system all in one that you can install at home. This one I found to be a little bit easier to transport, travel with, um, and then to set up and disassemble if you need to store it. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be a pump. Uh, these are just submersible pumps you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or any type of uh, store like that. Um, I have two pumps here. One of them is one-third horsepower. The other is one-sixth horsepower. Um, they both work really well. You want to probably stay in that range of pressure. Um, one of the big things that we want to talk about is how it suctions the water in. You want to find a sump pump that only turns on when you tell it to turn on. So when you plug it in or if it has a remote. Um, the ones I get are basic. You just plug it in and it turns on. Um, but let's zoom in here and we'll look at the bottom of these. So looking here at the bottom, you want to make sure that your sump pump suctions from the base. You don't want to get a sump pump that's going to suction up here like one third or, or, you know, half of the way up. Some of them are made like that for garages or, or basements or cellars where they're more of like a flood area. These are used more in the construction areas where they suck from the bottom to get all the way to the, to, you know, as low as they can. Really important when you're purchasing these. So once you have your pump picked out, then you want to buy your other accessories. Because I get the pumps that when you plug it in, it turns on, I add this. This is a foot pedal. I think it has a six foot or eight foot cord onto it. And the way these work is you actually plug in the pump to the foot pedal and then the foot pedal gets plugged into the wall. And that way the only time the pump comes on is when you press the pedal. Now they do make these where you press it once, it'll turn it on, you press it again, it'll turn it off. That's your preference to choose what you want. These are pretty inexpensive. They're probably in the neighborhood of $25. The pumps you're probably gonna spend anywhere from 100 to 150 um, on those. With that, I also normally have handy at least a 12 foot extension cord, depending on where you're gonna be plugging into. If you have a grooming room and an outlet next to the tub, it's easy, but if you have to run over, you know, across the room or something, you'll wanna get an extension cord. Now connecting into the pump, we have a six foot hose. So this you can just get in the garden section of any hardware store, gardener, you can order on Amazon. And you're just gonna screw this right into the top of the pump. Once you screw this in, anytime, you know, you can do this any length you want, but in a booster bath or a stainless steel tub, this six foot I found is a really good length. You have control, you don't have a lot of hose left over. It'll suck the water up through the bottom and then circulate through the system. I add this, this is a water breaker. This you can buy again, Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. And it just goes right on the edge or on the end here. The one good thing about this is as it sucks stuff up, the small holes on the bottom will actually start to filter out hair and debris. This will then be a secondary catch for hair and debris, so it's not continually cycling through the water. Um, these you will want to clean after each shampooing. Anytime you run the pump, you want to make sure to take this off, hose this out from the top, allow the debris to fall out, as well as pick up your pump and clean any debris off the bottom. So that's pretty much it for the pump. Once you have those components together, you can go ahead and start using it. I do have another video about me bathing in Afghan with the pump system that you can go and watch on my channel. I'll try to link it into the description below as well. Now for the hose, I always recommend using one of these hoses. These are the stretchy hoses. They expand once they get full of water. Um, I travel with this to the dog shows, so I use it in a multitude of different ways. 
Um, even at home, if I want to run inside to hot water, today's a beautiful day, 72 degrees, I'll probably bathe outside. So I want this where I can keep it where it stores really easily, but then it can expand to 75 feet, this particular hose. I do have an adapter on the back of this, or the end of this. So on the end of the hose, I have this adapter. This adapter allows me to go inside and I can unscrew the filter on a sink nozzle and screw this right in so I have hot or cold tap. On the inside, there's actually threads. So you can take the shower head off and attach this right to the shower head, which is what I do here at home. And then it allows me to bring warm water outside if I'm bathing outside. And then I just use a regular garden uh, nozzle and I have one that I like with the thumb um, on off switch and it makes it a lot easier to turn that on and off. So I just wanted to share that with you. At the end of this video, I'll probably pop it in the tub and show you how it cycles the water. But if you have more questions, I would refer you back to my other video where I'm actually grooming a dog with it and you can see the process there. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye. Very good. So what you want to do is when your dog is in the tub, you want to fill up your tub with just about an inch or two of water on the bottom. So for this one, I have a lip here. I kind of fill it too. And that's why it's important to have the suction coming from the bottom of your pump. When you put it down in, you're actually going to put your soap or your conditioner in this water. And then when you step on your pedal, when you step on your pedal, it'll suction the soapy water up through and you can get that thoroughly through the dog's coat. After you've finished washing your dog, you wanna take off the water breaker using your hose to just spray in the back of it and wash any debris out. You can do the same with your pump. You wanna drain your water out, let all the water drip out the bottom, and then you wanna get fresh water to cycle through for one, just one second to clean the system out for the next thing you're gonna do, whether it's a second shampoo or if it's a condition.